I hate cable management so much. Oh! Dear Wires, thick or thin, you've been with me since the beginning. I watched you grow from kilobits to megabits, then finally into gigabits. Sweet, sweet gigabits. But the world is changing, and I feel it's time to admit I've been seeing someone else. Logitech, the sponsor of this video, wishes to remove my copper bindings, freeing me forever from tangled feet, knocking over my drinks, and... Wait, who am I kidding? I have always hated you, Wires. I've just been too lazy to dump your ass. That is, until now. Da -da 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 -da. No, no, I actually do still have to do this. The first rule of cable management is, of course, to clean everything up. We've got about <clears throat> an hour until WAN show, so you're gonna see the speed version of that. We're gonna be unplugging everything, moving stuff around, so now is a great time to declutter the workspace and clean my desk and peripherals. If I was a lazy boy, I could just toss my keyboard into the dishwasher like we did. You guys can go check that video out. I don't think anyone's going to warranty your keyboard after it's been through such uh, an ordeal, but they all did work, so... Eh? Of course, though, for me, since part of the video is the Logitech sponsorship, I am actually going to be replacing not just my keyboard, but also my mouse, mouse pad, and even my headphones. We're starting, of course, with the G915TKL. I've been enamored with this one ever since my unboxing over on Short Circuit. It uses Logitech's Lightspeed technology. That means that it performs as well as a wired device or better. It uses their GL switches that are available in two different configurations. There's a clicky one and there's a tactile one. Personally, I prefer the tactile one just because I don't want anything to get picked up in my microphone, but both of them share the characteristics that they're both fast and accurate at half of the height of normal key switches, making the entire keyboard, as Logitech puts it, impossibly thin. There's per key RGB, media buttons, a scroll wheel, and it gets 40 hours of battery life. And unlike my old keyboard, look how much more space I'm gonna have. I'm finally going 10 keyless. I'm ready to give up my number pad because quite honestly, I almost never do work at home anymore. Now my mouse, um, I had not actually intended to upgrade. It's already a G Pro Wireless, but hey, the G Pro Wireless Superlight is here. And actually, hold on a second. Does this feel like there's anything in here? Super light. In, in, does it actually feel like an empty box yeah. to you though? No, they told me it's in here. They told me it's in here. It's definitely in here. Okay, wow. Have you felt this thing yet? Yeah, I did a short circuit on it. Oh, really? It is super light. It weighs in at just 63 grams, which is roughly the weight of two rechargeable AA batteries. It has much larger slippy pads compared to the regular G Pro Wireless. You get 70 hours on a single charge, and all it costs you is giving up your RGB, which, I don't know, man. G Pro Wireless is already pretty light. All right, you know what? I'm gonna give it a try. I guess I should sort of explain what power play is for the uninitiated. If you get one of these little wireless charging module majigs from Logitech, you pop that in your mouse, it comes as a kit, and then you get one of these power play mats. It actually comes with either a cloth or a hard surface that goes on top of it. The idea is that your mouse charges continuously while you're using it, and you never have to remember to charge it, which is pretty flippin' sick. I uh, came up with the brilliant idea of putting a different mouse pad over top of it. Haha! -ha! I have revealed my secrets to you! I've been using that mouse pad for a long time. It was time to, time to change it out. Oh, that actually lines up pretty nicely. You know what? I might go for the 30mm LTT Northern Lights desk pad for this. LTTstore.com one of my worst offenders, though, isn't even the mouse and keyboard. It's my HD 600 headphones. They come with this super crazy long wire. Like, it actually goes all the way wrapping around the table in the back and stuff. And there's this much left, and I have never bothered to replace it, and I constantly get tangled on it and actually get stuck in my chair. Super annoying. Now, I might end up still needing these for monitoring my stream because to my knowledge, there's no way to plug a USB headphone into the Go XLR. 
but at least for gaming, it would be nice to not have to deal with them. So that's where the Pro X wireless headset comes in. It uses Logitech's same light speed wireless interface. It's got 50 millimeter drivers rated for 20 hours of use at a time, 15 meters of range, which given that I will never be going any further than here from my desk should be fine, just fine. And perhaps most importantly for me, they have completely redesigned the fit compared to other Logitech gaming headsets. And it's like, Man, these are cushy and comfortable now. And they've got blue voice mic filters, so you can reduce noise, add compression, cool stuff like that. That's new since Logitech's acquisition of blue a little while back. Of course, you might've noticed in all of this that my desk has not gotten significantly tidier. The cold hard truth is that there are still a lot of things that just can't go without cables. You got your monitor, you got your streaming gear, you got your audio gear, uh, Thunderbolt, so what about those wires? Time to manage them in one hour. <laughs> All right, let's go. My biggest worry is not that in my hurry, I will do a bad job, but in my hurry, I will make horrible, horrible mistakes. Cause I am planning to go, you know, one step above. Like I want to drill holes in the table and run like my power play cable into the table and then under the table. If I put it in the wrong spot, then the ergonomics of this desk are going to be bad forever. When's the last time I even used speakers? But then I rest my feet on my subwoofer. Really get rid of them? Yeah, good stuff. This thing has served me so well for so many years though. I'm getting sentimental about a subwoofer. Do you know how much comfort my feet have gotten from sitting on this? I'm just noticing that there are one, two, three power cables down here that are not plugged into anything. What is this? I never ran the DisplayPort cable that my wife needs for her station um, back to the server room from the back of this. So I just have like a rando long DisplayPort running here. Oh, shoot. I hate cable management so much. Why am I even doing this? Ah! Oh, I'm gonna be so dirty. There's blown cellulose everywhere, David. It's everywhere. It's the first time I had to go out into it. Look how they massacred my boy. Look at that. We finally got the plate on the wall the way it's supposed to be, like it's supposed to. Wait, I knocked over all my cable management stuff. I should just call this video Linus falling apart for 15 minutes. Should I just start drilling holes in the desk? Yeah. Away. No time like the present, right? Yep. Fortunately, this is a crappy particle board table. Nice. <laughs> that worked out. Okay. Sweet. Now I just got to do that a bunch more times. Let's get the monitor back on the desk. Cause I can't even like, I can't even visualize where everything needs to go until I got the monitor. Let's go another hole right there. And we'll run everything through that. <laughs> I actually cannot believe that I am drilling holes in my desk. How does this track work? What do you do with all the bricks? <laughs> no! Okay. So we'll do like that length. This is a dull saw. Um, and that's how the dinosaurs died out. <laughs> <laughs> All their backs broke. <laughs> All right. The point of these is the cables can kind of enter and exit anywhere you want at these little like gaparoos. This stuff honestly seems pretty useful. I'm just kind of taking some of my cables and stuffing them up in here. One of the little life hacks that I've tried to use a number of times over the years, but not with much success is hot gluing power bricks to the bottom side of your table. Uh, I've found that even if you use like the industrial strength hot glue, it just doesn't hold. So <clears throat> having some kind of like brace or bracket or something on the bottom of the table and then cable tying the power brick to it, that's the only way that I've had success. Oh, this cable tie ripped. Should have got it from lttstore.com. Oh, freaking just dropped a power brick on my face. There we go. Okay. That is strapped nice and tight. No. What'd you do? Oh, I started drilling 
and that's right where my stupid power bar that I just locked in place is, <laughs> I think. Only one way to find out. Oh no, don't do that. Shoot. I think I hit it. Oh, I drilled into it a bit. This is fine because I have a slightly larger spade bit. Great. The problem is that when you've already drilled a hole with a different spade bit, using another spade bit to enlarge it, not a great experience. Oh, wow. I just, I can't hold it steady. Uh, okay, you know what? Am I better off going from the bottom or from the top? From the bottom, there's gonna be like an exit wound, but from the top, this thing could walk all over the place. <laughs> okay, I'm going top down, I'm going top down. Here we go. Um, okay, maybe I could. Okay. <clears throat> what did I just hit? Okay, well, it clears it. We're calling that good for the mount for my USB hub. And I get to put all of my wireless accessory dongles in it. Uh, what am I rolling over? You know what? It doesn't matter. Now, where do I want the Go XLR? Because I'm about to drill a big old hole here. Oh! Metal. Shoot. Oh no! Oh, it's so close. We're going in at an angle. Oh, I thought I cracked the display. <gasps> Stop it. I thought I had a grip on it. Oh. No, wow. The display was stronger than the the plastic from the drill came off. Okay, please tell me it's not cracked. I won't be able to tell until I actually have an image on. Oh. <laughs> this thick boy XLR cable, here we go. Oh, it's so tight. Uh, where's my drill? I'm widening it. We're going wider. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. Oh. Okay. Come on. <laughs> Think that's funny, do you, little one? <laughs> this is what madness looks like. All the cable management. All the cable management will be worth it, Linus. <laughs> I mean, it feels crazy to say it, but are we there? Can you see any of these cables from back there? Uh, here, no. <laughs> hey, hey, well, that is the goal, isn't it? No offense, Dyson, but this is a job for a real man's vacuum with leopard print. Now we find out if I cracked my monitor panel, or at least we should. I never actually turned the computer off, did I? Oh, I did. Oh, okay. I thought it was supposed to be working right now. This is working now. Hey. Hey. This thing is really light. Wow. Holy crap. That is crazy. Uh, okay. Man, it's almost like unnerving. Hold on, I haven't tried these yet. Are these just gonna like straight up work for me here? How cool would that be? Pro X wireless gaming headset. Just flippin' works. Man. Wireless technology has come a long freaking way. All right, Discord. It involved drilling many holes in my desk. Um, Cause like some things, yeah, some things need wires, Luke. Some things need wires, even wireless. It's all a lie because it has to charge somehow. Uh, okay, good, you got my webcam feed now. All right, sick. Let's, uh, let's do WAN show real quick styles here, shall we? <laughs> Okay, but first, big thank you to you guys for watching. Big thank you to Logitech for sponsoring this video. I think that the before and after kind of tells the whole story here. That looks so much better 
needs a little bit more vacuuming, but I think you guys get the point. I'm gonna do that. We're gonna get WAN show started and you guys can check out the links to where to get all of this good Logitech wireless goodness down in the video description. Oh yeah, if you didn't get it for Christmas, now's the time. I need water, lttstore.com.